Hey you guys, um, this is Linda coming to you with a new video regarding my nappy hair adventure. <laughs> um, when I first started this adventure, I had to learn everything from you guys on YouTube, okay? All I knew is I had nappy hair and that was it. Uh, I had to learn about moisturizing my hair, but I had no idea that I would ever get to the place where I had over moisturized my hair. What I did is I had some um, VO5 strawberry cream uh, conditioner or something like that, strawberry milk conditioner, something like that. And to be honest, I just got lazy and I had my hair up and I, I, at this point of the journey, I was sort of at the mindset where, you know, don't comb your hair when it's dry. And since you're going to have to try to detangle it, it seems like it's sort of easier to detangle when you have product in your hair. So I put the conditioner on my hair and didn't really do a comb through <laughs> bad news <laughs> so then I was really lazy and I left it on my hair for like two days and nights okay and I had like a plastic cap on top of it and I had done this once before and I didn't have a problem and so I went and I, I washed my hair and my hair was just like mossy and where I hadn't combed the tangle knots <laughs> were coming out of my hair and it looked like I was pulling spider webs out of my hair. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord, help, help, and help. <laughs> So, I did it. I went ahead and I combed it through. Uh, the one thing I can say I learned is I have um, some aloe vera, the real gel. It's, it's in a bottle, but it's real. <clears throat> and uh, I had some in the refrigerator. So, I took that and I put that on my hair. And then uh, it, it, you could immediately see the change. It's just like it, it uh, closed the cuticles and it just shut everything down. And so then I used uh, mane and tail and I conditioned my hair and braided it up and all of that. And oh, I was, I was just like itching to cut, cut, cut. But some said, no, don't cut it yet. Don't cut it yet, you know. So finally, after I took, I did a, a two-strand twist and everything, it dried, you know, a couple of days went by. So when I took it down, you know, I still was getting some stuff pulling out and everything. Now, this is after I have detangled it and everything. And so then um, I braided it up and everything. And then the next time I took, I'm um, sorry, I twisted it up. And then the next time I took it down... Uh, before I took it down, I trimmed the ends. I trimmed the ends. And it's still kind of on the ends. Uh, uh, the places like on the sides here where it's more nappy. Um, it still has that like kind of mossy look no matter what I do. And if anybody knows what to do, please help. I mean, I've never really been into protein. I don't know if I need to, you know, I don't know what I need from my hair to tell you the truth. I, I got the aloe vera. I got the coconut cream oil. I keep it moist. When I comb it, I'll just spritz it a little bit, put oil, put my cream in, do the lock method, whatever, and then I uh, twist it back up. But it seems like it, I don't know whether it could be the time of the year or, or what's going on, but it seems like it's shedding more. And those ends just seem, when I say moisty, I mean, it's like, like, it just like it, uh, that peat moss. It's just real. Mm. <laughs> I need some help. 
<laughs> help me so if anybody has any comments please i would appreciate them because i don't want to lose all my hair i don't feel like growing all it now see now the time any other time i will have no problem chopping it off i mean you don't have you don't have a clue how many times i have just whacked it off and it was in my hair i'll never be bald-headed my hair always grows back and it's always thick but now <laughs> i'm trying to take care of it and i don't know what to do <laughs> so if you can help me i certainly would appreciate it i love y'all i'm trying to be like y'all see bye bye <laughs>